your side, though, I understand that after being divorced, mm -hmm. it feels like, yo, marriage is a lot. I don't see the purpose of it. If you're a woman that can take care of yourself, you got, already got your life and your kids, why ruin it? Yes. And, 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 <laughs> and, there, are, and there are successful ways of just being life yeah. partners. There's that, Lottie, too. Lottie, I'm Lottie. not knocking That's marriage, not. but it's just a lot when you come out of it. But I, I will say it. this. I want to say this really quick. Because I do believe that there are men who just don't realize how important it is for the woman, for ethical reasons, more reasons, whatever, to get married. So they need a little nudge, not a reminder, not a yep. harpering, not a nagging, not a guilt trip, but they need a little nudge. We've even had Help a Sister Out segments where we help the woman kind of talk to the man yep. to let him know she's That's ready true. or whatever. So I'm just saying, though, one piece of advice that I heard that I think fits well when it comes to this equation on whether or not you should uh -huh. be with him and wait is don't ever, don't ever stay with a man who doesn't have a plan for your heart. Mm. Think about that. Right? Because... He may not be ready to marry now, but as long as he's got a plan, as long as that guy is planning, what are we doing 20 years from now? Where do I want to have you so that you're all mine? What are we doing with our kids? Where are we going later on? If there's no plan to take care of your heart, then there isn't a plan and for your life. Don't ever have exactly. a man that don't have a bank account either. Oh so. my God.